Are you shitting me? First pull, and it's Duchess. Seven sacred, do I get a legendary? And remember, it's been 13 since my last legendary. 13 since the last. Yeah, that's why prefer summon rush over champion chase because this is based on the shards that you're using and the other one is based on the shards that are based on the champions that you end up with so you can actually get more points from ancients if you pull legendary in the other event whereas like you can use all of your sacred shards and only get epic champions and you only get credit for the epic champions and then you can put an ancient shard in and pull a legendary and get a bunch of points it, it this one you know exactly what you're getting as soon as you're getting it a hundred percent a hundred percent predictions have me pulling have me pulling something all right, seven. Here we go. Number one, who is it? Another Royal Guard, unneeded. Number two. Aothar, another one. I uh, might be able to put these into uh, the, what is it, Faction Guardians. Number three. Borgarab. It's another one. Number four. Damn it. Jerig, another one. Number five. Gal cut. Number six. Come on, legendary. Yes. Borogar the Elder. Uh, is a legendary HP champion. I don't need, I definitely don't need anybody. Is he awful? I don't need anybody. Well, now that Faction Wars is over and Lydia is there, it's, it, you know, pulling these guys, if it's, if, if, at one point I was excited because I could pull them for, uh, you know, for faction wars, but don't need it anymore. So since the last sacred is now zero, zero since the last sacred. All right. I need one more for the points. Here it goes. Stagnite. Royal Guard and Stagnite. Alright, so there's the numbers. One sacred since the last. And that should give me Yeah. So now we're good. Okay, we're in. We've got it. I'll let mine run. All right, we're in Sammy's account. Let's take a look at it first while we're doing it. Hmm, you mecca. Cold mime. Lizard man. Uh... Glorious. Hmm. 
Rehab Bone Spear. Cardiel. Necrit the Great. Love it. Drexthar. Gorgid the Breaker. He's just so cool. I love to watch his animation. Ursiga. Lydia. Arbiter. Arbiter with 330 speed. Hegemon. Pytheon. Fushan. There's Drugs Bunny. 238 speed. Drugs Bunny. Rhonda. Not fully built. Cronan. Helicath. Tatura. Martyr. Two, what? 212 crit damage. Lysandra. There's another Gorgid the Breaker. You've got two. Mithrala. Look at how many. Jesus. How many legendaries do we have? Constantine, Vlad, Tunarnak. Sammy's been playing for a while. Full screen of Legos and one Demi sitting down there all by herself. This is craziness. This is a Stacked account. Stacked. Almost 1,650 mystery shards. I am so far behind on mystery shards. I don't remember why. But just recently, I used all of them. I don't even remember why I used them all, but I pulled... I, I ran dry on mystery shards. I don't remember. I had like eight or nine hundred, and I just pulled them all at once for something. Try. I think it was. I think it was the last fusion event. I had. I had something. I had a champion training or summon rush or something. I had to use them all at once. All right. So the poll is done. And there's an actual mix this time. 14% say no. 86% say yes. Here comes number one. Are you shitting me? First poll, and it's Duchess. See, this is going to suck. Because I'm not pulling him in my account now. And uh, I would love to have Duchess. God damn it. Okay, number one, Duchess. Jesus. Let's see how many we pull. Actually, let's, let's do this. And we'll make it a little bit more exciting. We'll do another poll. With six sacred shards. Since we pulled it on the very first one. God damn it. That just. Oh, why didn't I get. I, no, I get a dwarf that nobody wants. That's how this works. I get a dwarf that nobody wants. And, uh,. I, I pull Sammy a duchess. 
Well, I'm happy for you. Can you can you taste the jealousy in that? It's true. Happy for Sammy. I'm really, really happy for Sam. First, first Chris shard too. Says amazing how Sammy's been playing for so long. The first time Travis pulls a shard for someone else. Damn. Do you not? Did you not have Duchess already? I was assuming you already have a Duchess. No, you did not. Well, that's awesome then. Okay, now I feel much better. Okay, I feel much better knowing that you didn't already have one. I assumed you already had one. All right, number two. Hole is running. Nobody thinks you're getting any more. Watch it be another one. Nope. All right. Kellen from Sylvan Watchers. Number three. Are you shitting me? Two. Two now. Who is this? I'm not expecting much other than the fact that it's another one. God. One enemy, Staff of Life Rip. Heals, attacks all enemies, Perfect Veil, counterattack, heals a target ally. Eh, not too exciting. But, uh, is what it is. This is crazy. That's two legendaries. All right. So what do we? We started with nine. We've done three. Three. We have four more to pull. I'm not gonna run another prediction because there's no way. They've got to be epics from here on out. There's only there's four more. All right, Anats. It's a it's a good epic. Uh, here we go. Sepulcher. Two, two left. Two left. See if I'll ever agree to pull for you again. <laughs> <sighs> Grimskin. Last one. Last one, and we max out points. Are you shitting me? Motherfucker, that is insane. Three. Three legendaries in seven shards. And it's Kinsey's favorite. Wow. 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 Holy shit. That is... Like, that is insane. Three legendaries in seven sacreds. And we're not in the middle of... I mean, this isn't... What's going on right now? What do we have? It is two times chance. Oh, it is two times chance for ancient and sacred. We didn't even pull any. These these are it's just targeted, right? Each champion. So there's no increase in. It's a ten times chance. But it's not an increase in the, it's just when you pull it, it's just 10 times more likely that what you pull will be one of these. 
So it's not like we're in some special thing that's giving us a higher percentage rate for legendaries. It's normal odds. We're just... That, is, that was nuts. All right. Some serious luck. That's, that's crazy. Uh, I need to finish that last prediction since... Yes, we pulled another legendary. Two, actually. I should have ran another another prediction because you guys would all said no, and then the house would have taken your money. That's that's crazy. All right, who's next? Stammy was next. We'll do Kinsey's. Well, look at this, Arima. See, uh, when you look, when you only ever see. Um, the when you only ever see the icon, I always assumed it was a guy. I never, I never looked at the full face and saw the cleavage. Did not know that that was a girl. Definitely looked manly here, and I, I don't think I've ever noticed. Um, to pay attention. Here's Akimtum. We Man Eater, Mausoleum Mage. These are some good champions. Uh, Kinsey's account is moving right along. You're doing mastery slowly. I haven't done anything with my Countess Licks, but I really want to build her just because. There's no need not to build her. Savia. And Pythion. Love Pythion. So good. All right, let's pull this. All right, let's do the voids first. One at a time. Voids first. Here we go. They're only 20,000 a piece to pull them. All right, number one. Who is it? Ah, Gear Grinder. That was, in, in my account, Gear Grinder was my very first reviver. This is like the wheel. We do have giveaways coming up for FIFA Mobile. I haven't done it yet, though. Malbranch. Epic. Who is it? Exemplar. Nothing too exciting. I was pumped, though. It was at least an epic. All right, number four. Another rare. Ifrit. Number five. Panthara. That's Akimtum's sister. Number six. Michaelis. Number seven. Ox Berserker wannabe. Is this number eight? Paragon. Do you not have Paragon? Paragon's a, a decent champ to have, specifically for faction wars too. If you can when you book him out, it's his A2 puts that unkillable on Mr. Cheese. All right, seven left to do. That's eight done. You went Draco or or Calvalax? Okay, number nine. Reliquary. Number ten. Interceptor. Eleven. A 
steadfast Marshall. Four more. Damn it. Veteran. Three. Three left. Michaelis. Mm. Payne Smith, last void, and then we move on to the Sacreds. Luck is not working out for this one compared to the other. Damn, Bellower. All right. We have three Sacreds remaining. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, Legendary. Come on, Legendary. Excruciator. Legendary. Come on. Ugh. Steel Skull. Last one. Damn. Oh, there you go. At least a Sylvan Watchers. What is she bringing? Oh, she's a Reviver? Well, that, that'll be excellent for the Sylvan Watchers Faction Wars. She's one of the new ones. Creepy-ass hands. Jesus. 50% uh, HP, 30% turn meter. Increased speed. That's probably the best one of the bunch. Specifically for Faction Wars once they release it. Speaking of itty bitty titties. Um, anyway. If you don't have Elva, she's the next best thing. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll be useful once that one unlocks. All right. Damn. I really, really wanted to pull a legendary for Kinsey's account. Six Legos so far. Astralon. See, this is the one. That is the monster of all monsters in game. Acrisia. Decreased defense. It's all based on enemy max HP. Everything's based on enemy max HP. She is a monster. We have Aleel. Lego Sylvan Watchers. Ultimate Death Knight. Prince Kaimar. Speed Lead. And Kyoko. Got Ragnar, Magnar too. Like sixty thousand HP isn't bad. Um, Annex is down there. Yeah, for your for clan boss, um, Frozen Banshee is is a a really good clan boss. Uh, poisoner. I wouldn't discount that. Uh, the rest. I don't know. Royal Guard's strong if he if he's built correctly. Don't know uh, so much about for. You've got good champions in here. There's a lot of strong champions. You just need to build them. All right, let's get these pulled. We're going to start slow. We'll do one Ancient first. One Ancient. Ah. Marked. Okay, now we need four Voids.
Bloodhorn. Number two. Scrapper. He looks like he has to take a shit. I don't know why. Something about him. That's what he looks like to me. Number three. Come on. Legendary. At least an epic. Damn it. Air specs. Last one. Number four. And then we're moving on to the sacred. Huntress. Damn it. All right. Here we go. Six sacred. Six sacred. Incoming. Number one. I have a good feeling about this. All right, Kellen the Shrike. Is that one of the new ones, too? Is that one of the new epics? Damage increased by 5% for each debuff on the target. It's Orlando Bloom. Legolas. All right, number two. Oh, it waits. There's like a, a, a second there where you're waiting on it. Ooh, she is creepy as shit looking. Number three. Damn. Feralist grave dirt. Yeah. Number four. Ode bar. The bard. Two more. Come on. Two more. It's Wilfred Brimley. Pitiless one. He's got a weird mechanic. Is it each critical hit heals this champion by 15% of the damage inflicted? Uh, critical hits fill the champion's turn meter. And then each critical hit boosts this champion's turn meter. It's a really weird mechanic based off of just him hitting criticals. Crossbow looks all wrong. Last one. It's got to be a legendary. Come on. I don't want to leave them all in Sammy's account. Ah. Oh, that's, that's fine, though. That's Cornelia. She's good. Uh, 40% increasing the cooldowns, sleep, heals allies, uh, whenever the sleep debuff expires or gets removed, and she has increased speed 18%. She does great in faction wars. It's a decent champion. Russian doll within a Russian doll within a Russian doll. Yeah. Five champions were new. That's good. And that should put you at... $3,500. Yeah, there you go. You've got all the fragments to collect. Appreciate it. This is always fun. Thanks a lot, guys. As uh, long as you keep watching, I'll keep making videos.